at Holy Innocence Episcopal School, Apple MacBooks were distributed to all students from 5th to 12th grade. Staff and students alike were interviewed for their opinions. These are their stories. The idea was just kind of to put that technology in the hands of the students. The teachers had had that technology uh, for a few years, and it just, it just, the time just seemed right. The, the, with the internet kind of coming into its maturity, that you know the students could access that information easily, and uh, the wireless networking being where it was, we didn't have to worry about wires. So it just, the time just was right for us to kind of put that equipment in the hands of the students for educational purposes. What do you think is the best advantage of laptops in the classroom? The one-to-one -one program where every student has a laptop, the benefits of that as opposed to having the mobile labs or the carts was, you know, the mobile labs you had to kind of sign out the labs. We didn't really have enough labs to, to, to meet the needs of the faculty. But the one-to-one, -one, every student with their laptop, the students can, you know, basically anything they needed they could have stored on the computer as far as um, that teachable moment when, you know, a teacher says, hey, that's a great question, let's go see what we can find on the internet. That gave them the opportunity to kind of have the internet at their hands whenever they wanted. We then asked students if they like having laptops in the classroom. Definitely, because all of my art projects, I have to do Photoshop projects on my computer, and so it's like really important that I have it with me all the time. Like, I need to work on it constantly, so it's really helpful to have like a laptop on hand. Um, I like it. I think it has some flaws, but like overall, it's a good idea. Yeah, I like it too. I mean, I do use it for productive stuff, but it also can be a big distraction. Yeah, when you speak of flaws, what kind of flaws are there? Like, people are always, like, playing games on them, and, like, it can be, like, they're really distracting in class, because, like, oh, if you're bored, you can just, like, check your email and... Shop online. Yeah. yeah. When we asked one senior whether he liked the laptop program, he said... I'm at no. no. No, no, no. No, no. I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't do anything that I want to do, ever. Like what? I can't go on to my favorite websites because it has a word that's... So your issue is like the, the blocking? Yeah, the kind blocking. Of ridiculous. Definitely. Has the uh, laptop program been beneficial compared to last year's, like without a computer? No, I think it was the stupidest idea because it's just something else I have to carry around. As far as what it looks like in the classroom, you know, for some of our teachers, this is the first year they've really incorporated laptops into what they do. And I think as years progress and the teachers realize that this is a stable part of their, their curriculum, they're going to find really just amazing ways to utilize the laptops. And I think that's going to continue to grow. And as the program matures, it's just going to, we're going to see it a lot. There's, no, it's, there's not going to be that disconnect and there's not going to be that little you know, it's just going to be real smooth. Every, all the teachers are going to understand that's going to be there. They're going to have assignments that really make use of it. And the students, you know, a lot of our students, is the first year they've had it in their schools. But as it progresses, since we're starting in the fifth grade, you know, by the time the students get to the high school, they'll have had laptops as part of their, you know, instructional, you know, uh, makeup for, for four years. And I think it's going to just become smoother and smoother. Okay.